Not even they can stop me now. Boy. Hey guys, so today I am really excited because I am finally doing a Lana Del Rey inspired makeup tutorial. So this look you could really use for a special occasion without the headpiece, but this is intended to be a Halloween tutorial, but you can totally use the makeup techniques for any occasion. Um, and I'm so excited about this look. I'm actually going to be doing a Lana Del Rey series because there are so many makeup looks that I just love of hers and I cannot narrow it down to one look. A lot of her looks are similar. They're very like 60s inspired eyes, um, like very matte shadow with a very heavy crease and thick winged liner, but a lot of the looks have like different head pieces or slightly different um, eyeshadow looks. So I'm gonna be recreating those too. But the first one that I did was based off of this picture, which I will insert right here. And I think it's such a beautiful look. I love the white flowers. I'm also gonna be showing you how to DIY this headpiece. Um, so it's very easy to take on Halloween and easy to wear. So this is actually a headband that I made. So I will be showing you guys the DIY part to the headband at the end of the video so you guys can recreate it too. So. Uh, for the outfit, I just put on a white button-down shirt. She had a Peter Pan collar um, shirt that had rhinestones all over it, and I didn't have something that was bedazzled like that, and I didn't want to take a shirt and make one, so I just put like a rhinestone necklace underneath my collar to kind of create the same effect. Um, so yeah, it's all about recreating the same effect with what you have. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's honestly one of my favorite looks that I've done in a while, so if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off by applying my foundation. Today I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD like I always do. I will link my full foundation routine on the screen so you guys can watch that because it's pretty much the same for every makeup look that I do. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm going to start off by using an eye primer. Today I'm using the Lemon Drop one from Too Faced. It's just the one that I'm using up currently. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. This is just going to help the eyeshadow last longer and make sure it shows up true to color. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that over both of my eyelids. Next, I'm going to take Painterly Paint Pot from MAC, which is just a very matte, light, creamy base. And this is going to go all over the eyelid, too. This is going to help cancel out any redness and just create a very um, pigmented matte look for the eyeshadow look that we are going for because we want it to be very light and very opaque on the lid. Today, I'm using the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. And the first color I'm going to take is like a light pink cream color. It's called WOS, which I'm pretty sure stands for Walk of Shame. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my eyelid, all the way up to my brow bone. And this is just going to work as our base color for the entire look. Next, I'm going to take a big fluffy blending brush. This is the 224 from MAC. And I'm going to go into a light brown eyeshadow and just blend this color into my crease. It is a very cool tone brown and we're just building up a little bit of definition to work as a blending color. And then we're going to go in and build up the deep color in the crease, but this is just going to help everything blend better and make it nice and smooth. Next I'm going to go into the color Faint, which is kind of a darker charcoal brown, and I'm going to use a very tapered blending brush and start building this color up in my crease to kind of create a soft cut crease effect. I'm also going to bring that color all the way into the inner corner part of my crease, because that is what Lena had going on in this picture, but I usually wouldn't do that on a daily basis, but it creates a really doe-eyed effect. And then I'm also going to bring that color on the outer corner of my eye, and then just blend out the color so there's no harsh lines, and I'm going to repeat that process until I get it to the desired effect. Um, but then once I get the crease how I want it, I'm going to go back in and just touch up that lid color in case it kind of got washed away to make sure it stays nice and light. And then I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other eye and I just sped this up so you guys don't have to watch me do the whole thing again, but basically just the exact same thing that I just did on the other eye. Okay, next we're going to move on to the winged eyeliner. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Felt Tip Liquid Liner. I'm just going to start by creating a very basic line across my upper lash line, but I'm going to make this line a lot thicker than I usually would because that's going to create that very 60s inspired um, doe-eyed effect that Lana has in the picture that we're going off of. So I'm just going to create that very basic line across my upper lash line before we create the wing. That's what my a great trick to creating the perfect wing liner is to use a little post-it note and just line it up 
um, at the angle that you want your winged liner to be. And then you literally just have to draw a line. You don't have to worry about it being perfect. Um, so just draw a line extending out towards your eyebrow and then bring it back to the lash line. And then once you peel off the post-it note, you're gonna have a perfectly sharp line. And then you can go back and just touch up the liner anywhere that you need to make it a little bit thicker. But this is a great way to create a really perfect line very quickly. Okay, next I'm going back into my Naked Basics palette and I'm gonna take a small eyeliner brush and go into the black eyeshadow and just set this eyeliner to create a little bit of a softer look because her liner looks a little bit smoky just around the edges of it. Next, I'm gonna take a pair of false lashes. These are the Unforgettable Lashes from Esquito and I'm also using their Lash Companion Glue and I'm just gonna put a thick layer of that glue on, let it get tacky, and then go ahead and put a thin layer of mascara on. Um, just so my lashes blend into the falsies. And then once that glue is tacky, I'm gonna set the lashes as close to my lash line as possible and just set them into place. This glue makes it super quick and easy to apply lashes. They dry almost instantly. So there you can see the difference between the two eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. And I think the lashes just completely pull the look together and give it that very um, 60s bomb shell feel that Lana always has. I'm going to go back into the dark eyeshadow and I'm going to be using a pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge this eyeshadow underneath my lower lashes to create kind of a smoky look and you can bring it down pretty far because her eyes look very hazy and almost tired but not in a bad way they just look very smoky. Next I'm going to go back in with my liquid liner and just touch up any of the liner um, around the lash line where I put on the false lashes and then I'm going to apply one more quick coat of mascara just to bond my real lashes to my false lashes and also apply a generous coat on the bottom to create that 60s inspired look. Next I'm going to be using a nude eyeliner from Rimmel just to create that more doe-eyed, uh, wide-eyed effect and I'm just applying this to my waterline and this will really open up and brighten up your eyes. Um, next I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. Now my brows are very different from Lana Del Rey's but I'm not going to try to recreate her brows too much. I recommend just filling in your brows like you normally would. Um, her brows are very defined in the picture but they're also kind of soft. They don't look overdone. Um, but she just has a very simple brow shape. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with my brows, but I'm still gonna make them bold because that's how I like them. Um, and here I'm just going back in with a powder. Um, I like to use a pencil and a powder. I will link my brow routine down below so you guys can see that full video. Next, I'm just contouring my cheeks. Um, I'm using a small contour brush from Real Techniques and my Too Faced Matte Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Just make sure your bronzer is matte for this look. Um, she just has a very contoured, sunken in cheek look and that's kind of what we're going for. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. She doesn't have a lot of blush in this look, so I'm gonna keep it very neutral with Tarte's Exposed Blush. It's a very neutral pink and I'm putting on just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, her cheeks almost have a very matte, dull appearance. Um, so yeah, next I'm gonna move on to the lips. I'm actually just gonna be using my concealer because she has very muted, nude lips. They almost look like they're just canceled out with concealer. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And this makes it super, super easy um, and actually very long wearing too. So I'm just gonna dab on concealer and I'm putting on a tiny bit of my pinky nude um, Saint lipstick from Lipstick Queen just to add a tiny bit of color and moisture. Next, I'm gonna just define my lips very softly using minimal lip liner from Kevin Aquan. Nothing too crazy, just to add a little bit of definition because they are so light. Then I'm gonna go in with my cream highlighter from Becca in the color Opal and just highlight my Cupid's bow to create a more pouty, fuller lip effect. Next, we're gonna move on to the headpiece. This is my one of my favorite parts of this look. Um, I just bought some flowers from Michael's Craft Store. I got them all for under $10. They're just fake roses. Um, you wanna make sure they're white or at least a light cream color. And you just wanna start off by cutting off the tops of the flowers. Once you have cut all the flowers, you wanna use a plain headband that matches your hair and just hot glue each of the flowers onto the headband. And I kind of just made sure I put on a generous amount of glue and stuck it on the headband and you wanna hold it in place for a minute to make sure it actually sets and doesn't fall off. Um, and I just repeated that with all the flowers and I kind of created them in kind of a downward diagonal line um, to create the same look as her. And this is so much easier than putting in individual flowers because you don't have to worry about them all falling out. Baby, 
Okay guys, so here is the finished look with the headpiece. I absolutely love this. One of my flowers is a little big, so I'm kind of cropping it off, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm obsessed with Lana Del Rey, if you guys haven't noticed. So if you guys do recreate this look on Halloween, let me know. I think it is super fun, and I'm going to leave all the links down below to where you can get all the products, like the Esquito lashes. These are like my favorite lashes, um, and the lipsticks, and all that, the eyeshadows. It will all be linked down below, and more pictures will be on my blog. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and leave any requests for other Halloween tutorials down below. And I'm going to stop rambling now, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!